We had an awesome discussion on feedback last night, and I was really thrilled to hear your thoughts and how we can give students more immediate feedback faster. I'm going to share with you the article on play sheets that I wrote, because I love that the computer can grade things and give students that immediate feedback, which then frees us up to do other things. Now, I did want to talk in Module 4 about rubrics and how rubrics can be used for feedback, and I have a template for that. So I'm going to go ahead and post Module 4 with all the assignments and stuff in it, but you don't need to do the assignments. The assignments, we'll just say, are completely optional and actually don't do them because then I don't have to grade them. Uh, no, but seriously. Uh, if you want to poke around and take a look at the things in the assignments for Module 4, that is totally up to you, but let's go ahead and focus on Modules 1, 2, and 3 and making sure that you have all of that stuff together. I feel like you need a little bit of extra time to pull that stuff uh, together. Oh, I just repeated myself. But anyway, um, I hope that you will enjoy taking a little extra time to work on the uh, advanced search MOOC. I really think it's important that you learn how to really search well. Uh, and then also, of course, that three-hour workshop. I want you to be a leader on your campus. So take some time to figure out how are you going to present how digital citizenship should look in our classrooms. Because this is a whole new ball game. It's not something that they taught us when we got a credential because, of course, the Internet wasn't really around. So uh, take some time to figure out how you can be a leader on your campus about that and put that assignment together. And then we want to make sure we're giving peer feedback on the digital literacies assignment. So that's what we're going to do for Module 4.